Welcome back, it's me Streaky and I'm here again for you on YouTube to tell you everything that I know, even though there are other mastering engineers around that hate me telling you everything I know, but here we go, here's another one then. So today, I've had a question in the comments, how do you get a bass rolling? How do you get a track livened up uh, before you then get stuck into mastering? So it's a mix, quite flat, and it's a kind of dance tune. How do you get it rolling? Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly that. So let's jump into the computer. But before we do that, don't forget, this month is giveaway month, and I'm giving away a Masalek EQ. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you do, so that you're in for a chance of winning that EQ. Here we go, let's dive in. So here we are inside of uh, Pro Tools. I've got a track here uh, that I'm gonna play. It's a, it's a kind of uh, techno-y kind of rolling track. Let's have a listen. Okay, so it's kind of sounding a little bit flat. We wanna get this kind of moving a bit before we master it. So how do we do that? So a little technique that I use a lot, which is pretty cool, just to get give a track a bit of life before I can then sort of change the EQ and, and dynamics and things like that. So get the Pro MB, or you can get another multiband, but I use the Pro MB a lot. I will save this preset and I'll leave a link below for you so that you can get this. So first of all, get a band that you can see sort of starts around 120 down there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna expand the, um, the low end. Now I've got this set on three, because we're in mastering, you don't do a massive, massive changes, but we'll put that onto about, uh, let's, let's go one and a half. Um, just change the, the curve a little bit so that it's a little bit flatter like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get one that goes across the top end. So go all the way across and we're gonna expand that too. This is just, we're gonna get this, click expand, that'd help. Um, and set it on expand and then we're just going to move this up to the same amount. So we're essentially doing what's called in the game a smiley face. We're losing, we're doing that sort of crossing over at about 1K. Again, move that so that it's a little bit of a flatter. Um, it always sounds a bit smoother in mastering when you're not too sharp on your curve. So use that as a curve there. So we've got a kind of um, high sort of shelf going on that this is going to expand up. This is going to expand in the low end. Now uh, this space, we are now going to fill this up and um, just get this to attach itself to there and that one to there. And it's a little, oh, wrong one. Let's uh, just click on that. And then we're just going to now compress this section. Sorry to interrupt, but if you're enjoying this video, please press the like button now. It really helped me out. Okay, let's get back in there. So now we've got that set up. Let's just move that the bands around. Make sure this one is on compress. These two are on expand. And then let's just hear how that sounds in bypass, first of all, so we remember. So it's not too boring, but it's still a little bit flat. Now let's listen to it again and I'll mute on and off so you can hear exactly what this is doing. So mono the bass a little bit. And there you have it. That's uh, quite a neat way of getting things to sound a little bit lively before you go into everything. Now you did see those going over a little bit. It's probably a little bit loud on the input. So um, we can just bring the input down a little bit. So just so that that uh, doesn't go over um, when you've added so much level. 
So there is a video coming up right now on EQ and how to hear EQ, so make sure you watch that. But don't forget to like and subscribe to this one because I do videos like this every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So make sure you don't miss out, ring the bell and then you get a chance to win the Masalek EQ. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.